Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and here in this session, I am going to teach you the types of CSS and I hope very easily you all can understand the various types of CSS. The first one is inline CSS, the second one is internal CSS and the third one is external CSS. These three types of CSS we have to learn by live coding here. So I am working in Visual Code Studio and let me try to make my file name inline CSS dot html here we are going to work for here we are going to work for right uh, here we are going to work for uh, inline css so let me uh, try to make you a very familiar you know that let me try to take heading one and i am writing this is heading one and let me try to add one more meta tag that is for paragraph and let me try to write this is a paragraph right now let me try to save it and if i want to run this code then open with live server and i hope that all of you can see the corresponding output that is going to be visible on the browser right now that this is a heading one and this is a paragraph you can see on the left side top topmost position of the left side is screen this is heading one this is a paragraph right now the thing is that thing is that uh, if uh, okay paragraph right no issue now if we want to decorate it so in inline css whatever is the meta tag let's say h1 is a meta tag so inside meta tag itself we need to decorate it and for decoration, we need to use the tag style equals to let's say BG color. BG color is for background color, right? And uh, in background color, right, background color, let me try to see what kind of uh, background we are having. Let's say background color is aqua separated by, we can add multiple attributes separated by semicolons. Let me try to add one more, let's say font family. Right, let's say font and uh, we can add font family anything, right? So let's say font family is font family. You can choose, let's say, Arial Helvetica, right? And let me try to make the color, color of that uh, heading, let's say color, color as a, let's say, red, right? So this code we have done, this code we have done, uh, we have written inside heading one tag. You can see clearly here, right? This is heading one. And all these attributes in style tag are done inside the meta tag itself. Let's say in paragraph style. And here we can also, let's say border. And uh, we can say border, right? Uh, and uh, Right, let's say border and uh, zero mm we can take and uh, separated by colon. Let's say, okay, separated by colon inside the double braces. Let's say BZ color. So let's say background color this time is Busek. And let's say the color of this one is color color is let's say blue let's try to save it and let's try to run now now you are going to see the differences that this is heading one background color is aqua and bottom side of it this is a paragraph before it this was like that right before this this was okay this is a live server so you can see how it is going to be updated right this is heading one this is a paragraph and background to in the background uh, such a decoration we have done. So such kind of uh, styling, when we do the styling inside any meta tag like this, this is called as inline CSS. Inline CSS. So I hope the concept of inline CSS is very much clear to everyone. Now, in the next part, let's try to understand internal CSS. Internal CSS dot html this file i have created for internal css right now let me try to 
add some basic uh, content here. And now in, uh, in internal CSS, we can add title to a, uh, a, a, any, 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 any file so that in the title tag, it will be shown. Let's say title tag is internal CSS. This is very simple. Nothing else. If you are going to run it, you are going to see that uh, the title, right? The title is internal CSS. This title we can set with the help of title bar and inside head, uh, we can do coding under a style tag, under a style tag, right? So it's very easy to code a style and inside a style, let me try to mention P and inside P, right? I have created an open curly braces and inside curly braces is right. So this is a selector in selector paragraph. We have selected paragraph and inside it, we can set some attribute. Let's say BZ color. So we can set BZ color to anything, right? Anything you can set. Let's say background color. And if you want some more choices, control plus space, and you can see so many choices we are having. Let's say background color is yellow, right? Further, you can add some more choices here. Let's say font weight. So let's say font weight is 200. And you can add font family as well. In font family, let me try to make anything. Lucida sense, let's say, right? This is very basic. Now, what is the thing that inside this body, if I am writing any paragraph, let's say, this is the content of a paragraph, right? And if you are going to run it, if you are going to run it, you can see the output like that. This is a content of paragraph and in the background, yellow background is there and whatever properties we have set here, right? Inside this uh, style tag inside this style tag, whatever property we have uh, chosen, that property is by default applicable to this paragraph tag. So in this style tag, we can create similarly for H1, similarly for H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, similarly for any meta tag that you want to apply decoration on, right? So this is how you can, uh, you can implement internal CSS. In internal CSS, a, way, uh, a special part is mentioned under style tag. And in style tag, we already have selectors. Let's say paragraph H1, H2, whatever. So next time onwards in the body, if we are going to use such kind of tags like paragraph or uh, let's say heading, by default, that property is going to be applicable over there, right? So this is called as internal CSS. Now, one more type of CSS is there that is called as external CSS, external CSS dot, let's say this file we have created and uh, let's me try to give the title of this tab as a external CSS. Here we are going to see the concept of external CSS. So basically in external CSS, we need to create an style tag into separate file. Let me try to give the CSS file dot CSS. So in external tag, we have to create a separate file with extension CSS cascading style sheet. CSS, a separate file should be required like this. And inside this uh, CSS file, we can create, we can define any, any, any tag. Let's say BG color, let's say BG color uh, equals to, let's say, Aquamarine and uh, let's say uh, we can set uh, font size large, right? And uh, we can set, uh, let's say, color as, uh, let's say, red. Now, so here the name of this CSS file is CSS file.css. So in external CSS, what we need to do inside this head tag we need we need to link this uh, external this css file and for that i need to add a link tag relation is instantiated and h reference 
this reference should be the name of that file that is css file dot css css file dot css this was the name which we have created here right and it is included in the code now inside this body inside this body if i am going to write any paragraph let's say this is a paragraph in external css tutorial right so, and let me try to save it and let me try to run it so you are going to see the output like this this is a paragraph in external css tutorial and background color is aquamarine so what we did we have created a separate css file and thereafter that separate css file is included here in the in our code like likewise this likewise this we have created this uh, css code uh, using link tag and uh, by default whatever we have defined inside he, inside this css file that property by default applied by default applied on our uh, on our external css file where we have used it right so this is called as external css so i hope let me try to revise it let me try to summarize it in inline css we need to include the css codes css uh, styling declaration inside the meta tag itself in internal CSS, we need to create a style tag and in the style tag, we need to define all the selectors where we need to decorate. And in external CSS, we only need to write the HTML code and in separate CSS file, we can define uh, decoration properties for tags, like which paragraph tag, we can create it for heading one as well. We can create it for heading to whatever tag we want to decorate. We can create multiple tags. And in whatever HTML file we are having, we need to include the link tag between head tags. Likewise, this and uh, this is how you can perform external CSS. Basically, we prefer external CSS so that uh, if there is there if in on web page if we want to do some changes, some modifications, some modifications, right? Then uh, by just changing on one place we can uh, observe changes on the all other places and it is uh, systematically and it is all, all also diff uh, also having a different file so nobody is going to get confused right so it is a better way to decorate any web page using external css i hope all the three parts of uh, css is clear to everyone so guys do like subscribe and share this video if you are having any doubt or confusion or query do ask here on the comment section, I will try to resolve them as early as possible from my side. Thank you so much, guys. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.